Speaking is the number one fear, death is number two. Jerry Seinfeld made a great joke about this. He said, how could that be true? You mean most people would rather be the one laying in the casket out of the girl than the one giving the eulogy. Own the Room is a communications company one of the very first things we do is teach people how to get over their fear of speaking in public. That is the number one fear of Americans. We also take people through how to run presentations, how to communicate with people on a different level, how to connect with people. Part of what we're doing is an initiative with the Gridiron Club and our careers uh, committee. We're trying to prepare our student athletes for life after football. Well, we're always talking about the UMass family. And to be a true family, we can't just care about these kids on the football field and what they do. We had started it, kind of this kind of deal, when I was head coach at Brown in the mid 90s, and kind of started it a little bit when I was here, but then uh, I think the, what's been great is, uh, you know, Frank D. Tommaso, Paul Manganero really kind of uh, embraced this and trying to help the kids that there's life after football and that we've got a lot of successful UMass football alumni out there that want to help our guys. And uh, so I think it's a great day. Well, today we did a lot of exercises to enhance our communication skills, and there's a lot of skills that we're going to try to use um, for our careers as we try to jumpstart our lives. We really just built our communication skills from the ground up for some people, and, and it was a lot of fun. We did a couple different exercises, and uh, we got out of our, our comfort zones a lot, and it was, it was really a change of pace, and it was refreshing to have something like that. There was Coke and water involved, and we had to basically take a drink of the mixture of the two, which didn't taste very good. If we used any um, any filler words like um, like, but, basically, and that was probably the diff most difficult part was trying to get around those words. And we eventually learned that taking a pause in between would help uh, evolve our speech and get us to a, a clear thought. That's zero. Everybody's two words were different, because all of you are different. You all have your own style, you all have your own style. You're you. The best way to connect with people and to become a better communicator is to always allow the real you to come out. Be authentic. They did fantastic. I knew it was going to be a fun group. I didn't know it was going to be quite as fun. But when they realize that it's not a training that we teach, we don't teach at people, everybody is a part of the training. And when they were able to start being a part of the presentation, they opened up and they started embracing, embracing the techniques.